Good, how are you? Hey Savannah, we're planning on going on a, to a movie on Friday. Do you want to come with us? I would love to. Awesome. See you guys then. Hi Savannah. Hi. I think you look very pretty today. I do? Thank yeah. you so much. You just made my day. You do too. Softball, what do you like to do? I like to play guitar sometimes. Hi, Jackson here. As you know, this year at Box Hill Middle School, we have a new electronic devices and cell phone policy. I know. Yes, I know. You are not thrilled about this, but let's talk about it. I don't understand. Why? Technology is great. I mean, it could take us anywhere we want, and I want to be at the beach, so let's go to the beach. Gnarly, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Or we can go to the. Uh, what am I going? <laughs> the Eiffel Tower. Mm, Paris. Croissant. Oui, oui. Or we could be in outer space right now. Whoa, Do you guys like, feel that? Yeah, it's kind of weightless. It's like weightless, it's man. Kind of awkward, so. <laughs> How'd they know I was going to Area 51? I got caught in the act. Um, technology can be a problem as we just experienced. In the classroom uh, and at school, technology is not always what we need. If we are truly honest with ourselves, we know that cell phones can be distractions during class, but that's just the start. Ninth graders, you awesome ninth graders out there, think back to last year, how many fights, hurt feelings, bullying, loneliness, and inappropriate behavior was started or made worse by cell phones. This is not just a distraction issue, it is a safety issue. Teachers and the administration want to change this. We want to make sure you know the new rules and expectations for this year. Take it away, student government. Hey, student government, what happens when a teacher or administrator sees you with a cell phone, uh, a smartwatch, a Kindle? A... I got it. Oh, what happens? Um, they take it, and then they have it. How long do they have? Where do they take it? Uh, to the office. When do you get it back? Um, by the end of the day. The end of class? No, the end of the day. Oh. Julian, will your parents find out about it? Yeah, they'll be notified. They will? Yeah. Okay, oh. so what happens if it, hap it happens again? Your phone gets taken oh, away oh, again. Ooh, ooh, pick me, pick me. Okay, the second time your phone gets taken away, they take it back down to the office and you have to pay a $10 fee. 
But if you don't have $10 or you don't want to pay a $10 fee. You have to wait until the next day to get it back. And your parents will still be notified. Sophie, could you get lunch detention? You sure can. All right, group. So what happens if, oh, I know this will never happen, but just in case, what happens if it's taken away for a third time or more? Hmm. Yes. Um, it's a $20 fine and your parents have to pick it up. Where do they pick it up? At the office. So you're not getting it after class? You cannot get it after class. You have to, and if you don't pay the $20 fee, you have to pick it up. Your parents have to pick it up the next day. What, can your parents pick it up the first day? No, unless you pay the $20 fee. Could you get lunch detention for having it taken away? Yes. Guys, if it happens more than three times, how long could your phone be taken away? extended period of time and have a talk with your parents. Someone summarize for me what we just went over. Anyone? Any yes. Um oh I forgot. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh Mr. Briggs. I can summarize. First offense, phone goes straight to the office. You can pick it up at the end of the day. Second offense, phone goes straight to the office. You can pick it up the same day for ten dollars or you can pick it up the next day. Third offense, phone goes straight to the office. Your parents can pick it up for $20 same day, or your parents can pick it up the next day. Jackson, could you get lunch detentions for any of these offenses? Oh. Yes, you can. You really can. So don't do it. No phones in the hallway. Hey, why did you do that? Well, you are not supposed to have phones unless it is lunchtime and you're on the side of this purple line right here. Oh, okay. Okay, just remember that next time. Thank you. Hey, Box Elder Middle School students, guess what? There is a new rule that we have here uh, in the gym, and that is there is no food, there is no drink in the gym anymore, not during lunchtime not before school, not after school. It is abandoned inside the gym. So follow that rule, please. Hey, get off your phone. Oh, my mom's texting me. That's not a good exception to be on your phone. If she needs to contact you, she can go through the office. And the correct way is Grace Hodgson. You are from the school. Okay. There may be some exceptions to the school rule of no phones out. So there it is folks, cell phones aren't bad but are often used for bad things, stingers. This year let's decide to take the time we would have spent on our cell phones and make our lives and others better. Look up, take part in the great things around you, make someone's day, meet new people, don't miss the amazing world right in front of you. Let's take the good and make it better. Bro, LeBron made that half court. 
Dude, that was just Devin Booker, bro. What you talking about?